Carnage Podcast. We are here with Tanya and the Hardys. Oh, woo! <laughs> Thank you for coming on. Uh, so let's uh, go scared the, about the, Yeah. <laughs> no, he's like, uh, you want to hang me enough for Too the Too much blues for the dog. <laughs> he's like, but, fuck nature boy, get the fuck out. <laughs> Alright, so the system is, let's go through and everybody introduce yourself, tape, uh, say what you do in the band. I'm ready, I play guitar. <laughs> Wait, no bass. Wait, what band is this? <laughs> you might recognize Brady from uh, one I'm of the bass players in this one. <laughs> You're yes. the bass player, thank yes. you. Yeah. Yes, you play bass. I'm Tanya, I sing, and I write songs. <laughs> My name is Tristan Thorndike, and uh, I play lead guitar. I'm Charlie, I play drums. I'm Richard Haskins. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, I know that most bands and then usually take on multiple forms, but when would you say that this iteration of this band formed? Oh, uh, maybe October of 2019-ish. I thought Tanya didn't like me for like the longest <laughs> fucking time because she has RBF so bad, you know? Like, and, so, and so like, she always had like a look, like every time I was around her, she always had a look on her face like she was looking at a menu and she wasn't happy with anything that she saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Yeah. Then she just out of the blue asked me one day. She was like, "Do you want to play guitar in my band?" And I was like, "Yep." He remembers this very differently than I remember this. <laughs> I remember us being friends, but then, but then, like you couldn't talk to me like a normal person. All the fucking time, you would just talk to me like some random chick that you were hitting on and I yelled at you in the parking lot of Bearded Monk one day. No, it was parking lot of the fucking post office, by the well, way. Yes. Across the street from <laughs> the, the across across the street from Bearded Monk. And then she asked me to meet a band and I was like Because after I yelled you at you, fire. you started acting like a real person. <laughs> that's why you had fire. I was like, okay. I feel like I need to be moderating this. <laughs> <laughs> Did they go left? Five minutes? Uninterrupted? <laughs> right, allow me to Anderson Cooper this. <laughs> uh, so yeah. 
So yeah, I yelled at him one day for not talking to me like a real person. Let's be honest, Haskins needs a lot of yelling at for a lot of reasons. For sure. And then he started talking to me like a real person and we became (laughs) friends. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, so how did... uh, We've heard the origin of Tanya and Haskins. How did everybody everybody else um, come into the fold? Randy and Tony are getting married. uh, (laughs) I met this guy actually when he came into my last band. And I needed a bass player. Yeah, it's really super gross. It's so terrible. It's awful. I hated every bass player that was in that band. And they he came in and I was like, ooh, I like him. So I kept him. That's really terrible. She story. treats me nice. She like feeds me <laughs> soft foods and gives me regular naps. There's always naps and various cheeses. Yeah. 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 He's always slaving away and building stuff for it. He's like, I'm cold, build me a fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. I'm always yeah, cold. That did happen. You, you literally had me split wood the other day. <laughs> I, I did a terrible yes. job of gathering kindling. That's not a you joke. guys are terrible. That's not a euphemism. That's literally the thing. She yeah, had me out there splitting wood with a goddamn axe because she wanted us. It looks like to start you're doing some magic here. Charlie tried so. He, he Question, did really good. Did start a fire without I tried a very hard. Or did y'all ever start a fire without like? Did you were you successful in your fire, or did you have to use like gasoline? And no, no, no. Like, I know how to build a fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man, that's one thing. There's we anything can do. we can well, do. Well, it's I mean, he's complaining awesome. about fire with chopping wax. I mean, make uh, a fire. Just, yeah. Dude, yeah. Now, so, so other than what? What are the other requirements other than uh, manual labor to be done in the Harding? <laughs> uh, being able to play your instrument. You know how to cook. <laughs> or order pizza. Or yeah, yeah. I mean, I think everybody in this band is a pretty good cook, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We like we like to share food. We like to have our family get-togethers and. Well, cooking for more people is better because you're able to put a little bit more effort into it and you get a little bit more out of it. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, what about when did y'all uh, have the drummer going? Huh? Oh. Oh yeah, me. Okay. So it started <laughs> out when she first asked me to join. There's this one drummer that I don't want to say his name or nothing, but you know, there's this one drummer that we have, and like, um, yeah, it's kind of a druggie, you know? yeah, 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 or something. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, not a cool drug. <laughs> not a cool drug. <laughs> not a fun druggie. Yeah, the, the one, the bad ones. Allegedly. And I remember, like, we were just like, dude, you suck at doing drugs. Like, see, you know, I remember telling him, I was like, <laughs> do the ones yeah. that make you want to play music. <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate. And then I was like, I was telling him, I was like. Dude, I know Charlie Tucker would be in this fucking band, you know, if I ask him. And then, so I did, and you should have, and it was instantly like, oh shit, we should have been doing this the whole fucking time, you know? Like yeah, that that's right first, the, one more yeah. the well, first yeah, night that, that he was there, it was like yeah. it, it, he belonged. It yeah. felt great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what would you say the best concert you've ever been to? And it doesn't have to be like narrowed down to one. You can rock see and it. roll cannibals, dude. <laughs> All shucks. I appreciate it. Thank y'all, you. Y'all played Fannin or the Holy Cell, right? That was the oh, first that show. was our yeah. first show. You mean which was our? F- oh, I misunderstood your question. Well, well to both of y'all, I, I, know, I thought you well, went. What I, was I, the best show I've ever been to in my life? Well, well yeah, that 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 is <laughs> well. Like, well uh, shit. My ADHD made me ask you a question about the rock and roll cannibals. But yes. <laughs> In your life, it is was is the actual question. There's an Irish wind. There's ooh. sounds like we're in fucking ooh. evil. So wait, were you asking about the cannibals or the Hardings? Uh, uh, I, I'm pretty sure Hardings. I've seen the Hardings and the cannibals at Fannin, which was my the question is. Fannin was a great place to be. Okay. When we first did that. Did I know I saw you. That, that was a night where she Tanya fucking cried blood. <laughs> oh yeah. On stage right. on the last song. I hit myself in the face with my guitar when I was still playing guitar on a Softer Softer. And I got really into it and I was rocking out at the end of it and taking the guitar off the, at the same time. Hit myself in the fucking head and blood all down my face. The pictures are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the pictures are incredible. It makes a punk rock, right? Yeah, yeah. it's by yeah. far the best way to end your. Yeah, first usually show. if you get blood on stage, that's a good thing. So nobody saw me actually hit myself. I because I was facing Charlie, I think, when I took the guitar off. So y'all said so you said. And I turned around and suddenly I'm crying blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah. That was our first show. 
Oh, fun. It was fun. fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was tucked into a tiny ass corner though. I had like one of my hat was about to fall off stage the whole Wait, set. Where was this? Fan of it. Okay. Yeah. Wait, yeah. OG fan or a holding cell fan? Holding cell. Holding cell. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure I was there that night also. But I, I think I remember seeing Rock and Roll Cannibals there uh, once before. If y'all played there. I'm not exactly sure if it was that. But I, I played a house party. Um, it might have been a, a, on a, a Halloween uh, a year or two before that. But. Um, I don't know if it was the same house or if it was a different house party. I mean, also, I, I could mean, be blurring... They all kind of blend together. Well, yeah, I, I could be blurring, I mean? like, uh, it might have been uh, Jago, or it might have been... It definitely yeah. wasn't Jago. It was... Did y'all ever play Jago? Mm-hmm. No. Been there, but haven't played it. We used to use yeah. it on my grips, didn't, but... Yeah. I think I sleep there also, back when I was first yeah. All right, so <laughs> what would you say some of your personal influences are? Like, it doesn't have to be necessarily for this band, but some of the... Rock and Roll Cannibals. <laughs> Haskins, I have a throwing knife and I'm not afraid to throw it. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate <laughs> Richard's, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, doing his best to, you know, that's <laughs> oh, it's really oh, yeah. Well, we love good. the rock and roll. Uh, oh, yeah, the piece of the AR is definitely there. Uh, wait, wait, let me I, correct I, myself. I would say Tristan <laughs> Thorndike's rock and roll. <laughs> I, I, I would say, say my influences. Uh, come from a lot of uh, surf rock like Dick Dale and uh, Lake Ray as well as a lot of you know rockabilly influences like Chuck Berry and um, uh, of course uh, you know Charlie Feathers and people like that okay. uh, anybody else got theirs? Johnny Ramone <laughs> fucking uh, Doyle <laughs> Wolfgang von Frankenstein from the Misfits. <laughs> he used to say that like strumming up and down on a guitar was cheating. He was like, only <laughs> down strums, and I always loved that story. At, at the end of New Bohemia, I, I, it's like all fucking. I'm just like Jack Hammer. Which uh, Buddy guitar. Holly did the exact. Yeah, for thing. sure. I mean, yeah. you get such an, an abrasive uh-huh. and really exact <laughs> sound out of it. I always like that, and I think it's. I like playing with Tristan too, especially because he's, he's got that such a spacey, surfy thing, and then I just got holding it down like fucking Johnny Ramone, you know? It's cool. Shucks. That's awesome. I like it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think I think it complements. <laughs> yeah, well. they work together very well. So, what about vocal influences? Well, I mean, I'm also a songwriter. Songwriting, I mean, oh, yeah, songwriting style. I think, um, I don't know. Randy says I listen to too much Frank Turner. But uh, also, I love Elvis Costello. He's my absolute favorite musical god. And he, yeah, so I try to do things that are interesting with a story behind it. Also, Tom Waits, John Prine, those guys, yeah. Something interesting with a story behind it. <laughs> what about you, Randy? I like everything ever written. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, all right, so what would you say... Uh, your favorite no, bass influences are. Shit. <laughs> like, it can be a handful. Like, don't I have mean, to I like, man, I like all the old R&B stuff, James Jamerson, uh, fucking Carol Kay, Florida Space players go, they were like the... So the what's your favorite two. part of Ice Ice Baby? Because that falls into everything ever. All of that that you just referenced is not his in the first place. Under pressure. <laughs> Chucky, what's your just I'm just wondering. I'm curious about this. I've been Chucky for a while. I never asked yeah. him, what are your fucking like, you like, drum influences? Man, I would say uh, probably Travis Barker, Chris Adler, Ooh, yes. and Vinnie Paul. Yeah, yeah. Nah, Vinnie Paul's not like a drummer. technical guy. He's like He's a perfect pocket yeah. drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, what would you say that your favorite local venue is? They can be alive or dead. Andy's. Andy's. Yeah. Andy's. Fortunately, that is yeah. one that probably will come back as everything Or Robert Gloves. I mean, Gloves either would be one. My favorite. Yeah. And Rick's place was cool. cool. Mine's always gonna be Abbey Underground. Yeah. I, mean, I, that's the, place. I miss the green room in Abbey Underground. Remember Vibe? I mean, that whole place. Yeah. Is so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you remember old Haley's? Oh remember yeah, had the green room. The well, uh, I was actually in the white room. Well, the, well, the fucked up. But the, we, the, there's the no audience for Haley's anymore. They got rid of the stage. Oh, yeah. They would have been fine if they would have kept the stage. Yeah, the stage at Haley's was great. I heard. Ah, I miss playing on that stage. I might have said this to y'all already. I heard a rumor uh, from a couple different sources. I can't I can't remember what the sources were, but multiple people said it, 
that uh, Free to Play might be moving into Abbey Underground. Yeah, he told us. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Move. really. Hey, wait, wait. If that happens, is are they still going to have a stage? That's what I think it would is be the thing. That they so really it would be you? games and music. <laughs> if they did that, that would be fucking. That's crazy. <laughs> Listen, like, you have to drag me out of that place, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, uh, uh, one of y'all described it as the, the yeah. It was Tristan who described it as the uh, Ninja Turtles theme. Like, oh no no! It's, uh, 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 like oh, the when, when they lead you into the Foot Clan's yeah. lair yeah. at the first time, and they're like like. Uh, Tempting all the teenagers, yeah, like, like video games. hey man, we got cigarettes, Wait, we, we got, got video games. <laughs> like, you, know. you know what's weird about Haley's is like, so <laughs> H- H- Hannah's was a cr- is across the yeah. street, you know. Well, so the guy who owned both places had two daughters, Haley and Hannah, and I always wondered if like when they grew up, like if their lives ended up like the businesses were like one Hannah was really put together and like you know the one's dead. <laughs> Well, one of them had a serious coke problem. Yeah, like, so, like, you know. I mean, we know the fentanyl problem with cocaine, so one's dead. I always wonder. But that was uh, way that before was fentanyl. Thing, I think. No, the, uh, the, there's been multiple cases in Denton of people having heart attacks because of fentanyl, co- cocaine. Jesus, really? Yeah. Uh, there's uh, one person who was pretty Sounds pretty like prominent in the scene, I think, in 2019. So really, the only one taking stuff I previously fiddle. heard had been heroin. Now, granted, granted, <laughs> granted I, I don't fuck with oh. any of those, like, at all, but it's just, it's sad whenever you hear, like, because, I mean, regulation. Was that, Let's not get political. Well, wasn't that how they get? Isn't that, that what uh, we always that, do? Like reptile no, or well, that's is this man accused of not being political? Crocodile. No, no, that, that's, that's, that's a whole yeah, different. That's a whole different thing. Oh, but, excuse me, I'm sorry. But, but, maybe I'm getting my shit mixed but, but, up. But uh, but like, fentanyl's <laughs> cheap and being exported out of multiple uh, multiple <laughs> Eastern countries at a very low rate, technically legal. Are you the camera? And so, basically, like, like. Cartels are like taking it. A little bit goes a long way to make their product. I've had a few of these today. A couple shirts. Stop and basically it's not fucking Netflix documentaries. <laughs> what an American so don't, don't, don't take me as a credible source. So just don't do it. So heavily at this point. Like, yes, it has. <laughs> it's okay. Well, we have like two or three conversations going. Like, mm-hmm. It's not really an interview. Right, so, so it's you, okay. What would you say your that part? What would you say your dream venue is? Like to play it. Uh, yeah, your what would be the place that you would love to play out or of all the places? Don't, don't also, this is gonna be a place that is in, ex- in existence anymore. The Apollo. I want to play Red Rocks. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. Dude, Dude, it's it's a club, the Grand Old Opry. Oh, man. You would fit there. You do. Fucking you do hell, well yeah. there. Richard but not, that's not this band. Yeah. God damn, that would be house. amazing. <laughs> for me, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, me. yeah, yeah no, you, you would. Incredible. You'd, you'd, you'd slap that. Oh man, can I do some some Dolly impersonations so I can play there too? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else got one hand? The whiskey go go. The whiskey go go. A fucking a Hollywood man. CBGBs. Yeah, see, that's the one I was about. <laughs> oh yeah, CBGBs. That's, that's not even right. Yeah, right. No, it's gone yeah. like a few years. Like a few years. Yeah, when Haley Crystal died, right? And they fucking. <laughs> it's been gone for like a long time now. So you can't say anything that is a band that you're in uh, in ties to. Like, don't <laughs> you can't be involved musically with this band. I mean, you can't play for them. What's your favorite local band? Slobberbun. They are my favorite local band. Oh, yeah, I mean, you They're had my favorite right Texas band. I don't know, man. Every band that's fucking cool around right here. Come on, if, if you're going to go... If you're, you're going to go, 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 go to a house show and you're stoked to see their, on, they're at the top of the bill, like, like, you know... Active well, band? Th- th- uh, it, no, it doesn't have to be necessarily active. Riverboat Gamblers. I think you said that last time. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I stand sure by it. People are yeah, on no, the podcast. I, I, like, I don't know. I like me some Diesel Beast, man. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, that's uh, a good one. Most of the people who watch uh, know that Carrick lives yes. in this household. I'm pretty fond of Diesel Beast. <laughs> I thought they, they are just Carrick. They're the actually some that we invited the um, the the beer club guys to hang out at our house because they always played their Yuletide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not... Diesel Beast has been playing in Denton for a while. They played the Yuletide Just, every the only, year. The only and then the year that played. I invited them out to my house, they did not get invited to play the Yuletide. Mm. <laughs> anyway. um, 
Uh, as much as I hate to admit it, because I lost a contest to him a couple years ago, so I'm a little <laughs> fucking bitter about it. Uh, <laughs> Brett Crow, uh, oh, I yeah. think I, I respect was as a songwriter. Base? Yeah, the bass contest. Uh, oh no, that was the contest of Audacity. No, no, no. I forget. I forget. Well, he what has one. He has one. He has one. Well, he's well, won a, uh, okay. a base contest. Oh, okay. But yeah, Brett, but, Brett was on season two uh, just last season, and he is a phenomenal writer. Yeah, he's great. He's yes. a great writer. As soon as I asked him what's his influence, he was, no, he was like, I like Weird Al and I like Primus. I was like, the oh, only, that makes sense. The only reason I was bitter about it is I That's consider the whole like this. multi-track <laughs> thing cheating. You know, like I was, I was playing just me and a guitar. And that's a little different than just like like adding all that technology and shit to it. Well, you're able so to add extra easier. layers and extra dimensions. I, yeah, I, you know, I I don't know. The, the, to me, as a purist, I thought that was you know. I understand that. Argument. But, but at the but same time, but as a songwriter, a as a songwriter, he is my favorite songwriter in Denton. I've said it's my thousand times. He is a his, great uh, songwriter. His song, uh, um, uh, Superhero Powers, needs to be the theme song for fucking Shazam, uh, Don't too. make me use <laughs> my superhuman yeah, powers yeah, that, that, upon you. That needs to, that yeah. needs to be the fucking theme song no, for Shazam great, 2. It's a great oh, fucking it'd song. It's so good. It gets stuck <laughs> in my head all the time. Yeah, so no. yeah, no, I, I gotta say, like, no, I love, I love what he does. I still think I was cheating. Also, he's all but about promoting the I, scene. I like what he does. <laughs> He's very much about promoting the scene. I was like, hey, do you have anybody you can recommend for the podcast? He was like, yeah, yeah absolutely. He gave me like fucking 15 bands. I was like, nice. Yes. That's what I was wanting. And most of them responded. So uh, yeah. what would you say? Uh, mm, uh, what would, would you say that the best show Tommy and the Hardings have ever played as a collective would be? Three Links? Probably favorite. Three Links. Yeah, definitely Three yeah. Links. That was a great show. Uh, this 2019? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. no, 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 no. That's, that was year. recently. Well, just April yeah. 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 sixteenth. This yeah. last one. Oh, so really recent. We yeah. Our most recent gig was our best. We played. Oh, yeah. That's good. I mean, coming out strong, man. Yeah, yeah. we're 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 going I mean, upward. We- we played at right. one of their snake handling Pentecostal churches one time. <laughs> 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 no, we didn't. <laughs> Dude, they loved Clint Laser. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we called it C. We called it Snake Laser. Oh yeah, yeah. and it worked. Snake Laser. Snake laser. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what about that show? We made also it, made, made uh, it feel so like, awesome. Well, well, it was a good crowd. My cousin so showed up. My cousin showed up. Oh showed God. Me. My Your cousin showed up to the show and he, bro, he rolled a fucking joint that was so goddamn like thick. Oh, so Jesus, like, a comic real large. It looks like a fucking commemorative like battle in the back of a fucking like, uh, Rangers G- game. Like, like, yeah, yeah, just, so, yeah, or else it would fold over. And he brought like a sheet of weed too, like, uh, of like weed brownies. Like, <laughs> and so like, we didn't even know what the fuck was going like, was- I've never seen anything like this in real life. <laughs> what was funny is he walks up to me, he's like a big old redneck, and he's like, you think these goddamn Democrats are gonna get mad if I bring weed in here? <laughs> right. And I was like, uh, What do I'm you think sure is happening like, here? I don't think you know what you think <laughs> let you let know them. about Democrats. Yeah, like, like, do you know who's keeping the shit illegal? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's a whole other conversation, but no. And like, yeah, it was funny. Short to- answer, no. But we got because we don't want to. We don't want to jeopardize. You know, bro. Yeah, he came out with. The single biggest joint that I've ever seen ever. <laughs> yeah. The whole crowd got fucked up. Then we just ripped and roared, dude. We fucking like, let it rip, dude. It was awesome, man. It took That's like not three the reason or four it was a great show. Times to get through I mean, stuff. we were so on during that show. Also, we had a lot of friends just come out from Denton to it was Dallas just, a good time. just to support us. That's really that's yeah. a big deal. Dude, it was really really yeah. dead up in there. Like, it was yeah. in, there were so the many dead Denton people. <laughs> At the end of the day, is not really is it really about the friendships we made along the way? Uh <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so do you prefer writing in the studio or in the room? In the room. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's okay if anybody else has a different opinion. Anybody else prefer? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the question? Would do you, you prefer writing in the know? studio in the room? Or do you prefer writing in the studio or in the room? Well, I never like, write in the studio. No. I mean, so if you get a, if you can create a song, it doesn't matter how I you do it. Rather, only write in the studio as a last resort. I, I know some people who really do. Some hey, you, know, you know who wrote in the studio as a last I mean, resort? Black Sabbath when they wrote fucking Paranoid. That was written. In the yeah, they studio. did, and it was great. But you know what? It was the last. But for every resort. Paranoid, there's like some. Everyone softer, softer was written by me turning on the recorder and us just playing and figuring. But let me tell you, man. 
There, you do not want to go into the studio and waste a bunch of goddamn money. Oh, okay, well, that's different. Okay, we're talking about something a little bit different. What I'm referring to. What I mean by studio is like. Uh, especially in this day and age, you are right. You don't want to be spending money to studio time. Yeah, like that, that, that you are. Uh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. What are you guys talking about? My, my, we're talking uh, about just so, jamming okay, and we'll, writing we'll have, music we'll have, we'll, together. Okay, well, that's in that's, the that, that's in the room. Yeah. What I mean by in the studio is, uh, for example, everybody has a, uh, an interface now or whatever. Yeah. Where they yeah. will sit there and create a song inside of DAW as they figure the song out versus being in the room and fucking up to create the song. That that's what I mean by in the yeah. studio. Because uh, you you are right. Okay. Don't fucking yeah, go into the then. studio to spend money. Yeah, I have, but but like okay, the way you describe it, it's in the room. Okay. Well, because some people like I've seen very talented people be able to go in and just one person sit down and like here's the song, show the parts to the people, and the parts the people make their own variations on that. I would call that as writing in the studio We're versus being oh yeah, yeah, but you're right. Well, then you've already got the song like, written in that case, oh, and you're just that's showing that's it that's to that's the rest of the musicians. So you're not talking about you're talking about, about farming out to studio musicians. Yes, yeah. kind of. Well, not not, not necessarily. That's, that's, what you're well, that's, oh, that's a totally a different thing. Different color, in man. It, like some serious, serious. individual composite. Would you? Whenever you're writing Seriously? something, would you rather, would you have already answered, I mean, be in the room, room or be able to have the software and like before. figure it out on, on your own and then Clearly. have be able to like. Well, my answer now is in the room. Yeah. Well, you, you, yeah. your answer has been the same. So <laughs> it's, it's just I, I know a lot of people who really like having having their interface having guess, the dog and stuff look, and just working. Th- here's here's how I can explain it to you. My understanding of computer technology is negligent at best. So here's the way I go about things. I write a fucking song on a goddamn guitar. You know, like your granddaddy used to have an acoustic one? I, I, I write a like song on that. <laughs> the grandpa's guitars. Yeah, the grandpa's guitars. The pussies and grandpa's? And yeah, well, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> it's also for, for right. when you're blackout and, so and there's no goddamn the fucking electricity. Things. That's good. Like exactly when that goddamn episode brought <laughs> up. All right. So you know, like, you're not I wrong. was actually kind of happy right. doing that because anyway. uh, it meant that DJ, <laughs> DJs weren't doing fucking shit, <laughs> and it was the actual musicians that were playing. I gotta say, I right. never thought about that. That's funny. <laughs> but anyway, if I can get back to my comment. <laughs> In this thing, you want to get back to your point? I'm trying. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> Go. Okay. So, remind me what the fuck was <laughs> No pressure. All right. All right, so what was the first song that we heard? God damn <laughs> The first song that we heard was She's Falling In Love. All right. All right, Tommy, I'm going to get fucking hard in Yeah. Tristan? Real talk, I think I might have taken last beer, buddy. You son of a bitch! Are you kidding me? Well, we're about to go get more. The last After one? After this segment! You took my last one! Here's some of it. <laughs> if this were prison, I literally <laughs> would do this uh, right but now. But it's not! But so it's you're not. not going to. Tristan, here's some of it. I just. God. I, I needed it. I needed it, Tristan, to. In order to make this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he needed it to make. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll, we're about to go pick up more. Uh, right? Yeah. Right after this commercial. <laughs> Hold on. <let's> <laughs> First song was. She's falling in love. She's falling in love. But I tell you the motherfucking card. Uh, so, what was the second song? New Bohemia. Alright, so we are about to be going into New Bohemia. Uh, anything I want to bring about. Or right, we'll say about kids that are swear to God. Well, fair enough. All right, here's New Bohemia by Tanya and the Hardy. <laughs> Not that I don't know.
including my own, right? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Welcome back to Audio Carnage Podcast. <laughs> Tristan, you okay? Are you alive? You didn't split Yeah, yeah, I did a minute. You didn't split your drink, did you? Oh, you're worried oh, about his oh, drink. No, no, actually, I, I kept it level. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> professional, dude. Yeah. He has priorities in his life. <laughs> Oh, You're always gonna hit the ground. You know can't unspill your beer. Yeah. Oh. Alright, guys, so what's your favorite alcohol? Tristan, why don't you get started? Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no. It's... <laughs> All of it, whatever. Oh. Oh. Fuck, it's hurt though. Oh, I know, it's went out of myself. I would assume I'm sorry to laugh at you. Oh. Sucks <laughs> getting old. I'm gonna go Jim Beam. Oh. Fuck. But, yeah, yeah, no, like, no spillage. <laughs> you didn't spill his fucking beer at all. Woo, Tristan. Yeah. God damn. Oh, that sucked, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh God. You gonna be okay? That's on camera, isn't it? Yep, it <laughs> sure is, and we're totally using it. We got a lot of material right here. <laughs> <laughs> I should have opened with that. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Right. So, uh, oh. did you have any family members who played instruments? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. Which yes. ones? Go ahead and one at a time. I had like uncles and cousins and everybody that played something. Like guitar, piano. Yeah, mostly yeah. guitar, yeah. I had a rock star uncle. Well, you know, he was kind of doing the thing in the late 70s, early 80s. And, you know, uh, you know. Of course, everybody appreciated music, good music. And that's kind of what, what I was raised on. Yeah. Tiny, what about you? Uh, my whole family plays music. My mom plays piano. My grandmother played clarinet. My uncle played violin. My dad played guitar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just me. He need a minute. We can come back around. <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Um, let's see. My on my mom's side, my grandparents were actually music teachers. Oh. So that kind of th- got that some light on that. Uh, on my my side, uh, you know, my my uh, grandfather played various instruments: uh, mandolin, violin. Okay. Uh, my dad was uh, uh, in a uh, Victorian choir that did uh, um, what are they, Christmas carols and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I I had a very uh, Music oriented upbringing. Okay. Uh, my mom played drums when she was like a teenager, and then uh, my little brother was a phenomenal guitar player as well. Oh, that's dope. Did y'all ever yeah. jam together? We did. We were in a van, Jules Firm in the Roads uh, for a long time. <laughs> that's awesome. Being yeah. able to play with family members is nice. Dude, it was the best. <laughs> Acids? Uh, my maternal grandfather was a performing flatulist uh, in <laughs> Barville. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure. in, in the vaudeville era. In the vaudeville era. Uh, <laughs> he specialized in Baroque pieces. <laughs> Specifically, he was a Baroque. Yeah, yeah I, I, I hear he died Baroque as well. Yeah. He bequeathed his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good work, <laughs> Uh No, I'm um, wait, wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, no, no way my family played music except my grandmother. My grandmother was a, like a music teacher for like fucking. 50 years and started teaching me piano. Now I like Miss Tony over here. <laughs> she'd, she'd always get bad at me. She said, no, you know, no matter what she taught me, like I'd like play it my own way anyways. Yep, just so, like all my students, <laughs> their own way. <laughs> so what is your favorite of your own songs, of the Harding songs? What's your favorite one to play? Oh, kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like a three-legged dog. <laughs> one-legged dog. One-legged, one-legged dog. <laughs> What the other four? How many legs does it have? <laughs> yeah. One now. I think it was only one. Does it have three now? Maybe. It's three like a dog. It was one. Like a dog. It's, probably, it's um, a miracle. <laughs> my my favorite of ours is Go Away. Yeah. We had, we didn't play that one today. <laughs> but you can buy our fucking next record. <laughs> right. Well, we'll get to that. That's the last part. Yeah. <laughs> 
I do. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I enjoy cunt laser, but I, I also really enjoy softer, softer. They sang one of our own songs, but the uh, the cover of Hybrid Moments. It's fucking fun. That's a lot yeah. of fun to sing. I oh my god, it's a lot of fun to do. Leave it to Glenn Danzig to write a fucking good melody. Man, he's he sings such what? beautiful melodies, and I think that's just what a lot of people him? miss. A lot of people don't know the beautiful melodies. Did you see the article has. with him in that fucking metal magazine where he said that the misfits couldn't have happened today because of low culture? culture? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because of what? Uh, woke yeah. culture. He said, like, you, you couldn't yeah. just come out and say fucked up shit. Yeah, like, you know, I, I, I disagree with that. Because the rock is. You're telling me there's so much today. Hey, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Counterpoint? Counterpoint? But they and weren't they famous happened. when they did hold, it either. Hold on, counterpoint? They weren't famous when they did it either. So. Phil and Selma still sells albums. You had a trailer park, kids. Point Richard Ray. is Richard the Rock and Roll Cannibals have an album out right now. The last song on our album is called "Get in Our Get in My Van." <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you have cannons? <laughs> like there's a song called "Get in My Van." All right, like it's not like you're not dissuading me. <laughs> it's not like you can't sing about fucked up shit. Is that you can't be an asshole about politics while you do it. You're right. No, I think you can actually do both as long as it has a, a great <laughs> no, melody. No, let's be real. The reason you can't do punk anymore is because politics is... Well, yeah. If it's got a great melody, you sure. can like, do it. They it's don't care. satirizing itself, so what the fuck Dude, is that? Dude, basically has been like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 okay. chick fil has basically been like a known anti-gay company... But their fucking chicken is delicious, <laughs> no, <I think laughs> and so like people still go there. No, it's sweet. Well, it's still delicious. No. They're probably in pickle brine, by the way. Yeah, that, that's all it is. The pickle brine, and also sweet. they uh, add a little bit of, it's of fried chicken juice. is not southern. So, uh, what is the first album you can remember listening to on repeat? Like we're talking like way back in your memories. The like, Doors really, original record. Really, 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 really look purple purple purple. Rain. Purple, I, That's a good answer. The Cars, Candio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Metallica, Ride the Lightning. Good album. Good yeah. fucking record, dude. Yeah. Also, it makes me mad that no, like, nobody on any of the, uh, any of the fucking breakdown videos of, like, movies and stuff like that caught in, the, you know, 1980, Wonder, Wonder Woman 1984. Ride the Lightning came out in 1984, and one of the iconic scenes from the trailer was she whip lassos as a fucking lightning bolt and rides the lightning. But just, huh. just one of those dumb things. I was like, why the fuck did nobody else catch that? What about her? Uh, Blink-22, Intima of the State. Okay. Holy that's fucking one. shit. That's a good... Yeah. I remember that shit. That was like, back in the day. That's a good idea. Did, did you ever see it on vinyl? Dude, I took this chick on a date to go see the movie Titanic one time. <laughs> this is when I was in high school. <laughs> and like, did you draw like one of your French girls? <laughs> Bro, I had to pee so bad. <laughs> Like at the very beginning of the movie, <laughs> but she was like super making out with me hard, so like, I didn't want to like stop. So I just sat there and had to piss for like three and a half goddamn hours. <laughs> Anyways, the point of this is, is Anime of the State was a good. You can open up for any band. What would it be? Weird Al. Like. I would assume that's a joke, but no, he's a really talented guy. Well, no, no, I mean, well, alive or dead? Uh, either. Alive, weird out. Okay. Dead, the cramps. Does it have to fit our music? No. The Mormon Tabernacle Choir. (laughs) No, you wouldn't. (laughs) Rock and Roll Cannibals. I mean, that would be fun, though. Yeah, it would. Rock and Roll Cannibals. What was David Koresh's band? (laughs) You you, could have already (laughs) done that. We we could have. Yeah, totally. Roger Roll Cannibals is my uh, the uh, well, name of God. The go goes in the early 80s. Okay. I want to open up for conjoined country. They're these like conjoined twins that are attached to the head. And like one of them sings country. Jesus. One of them sings country. The other one's got like spine and bifida and like it has to roll. I swear to fucking country. God, if you, this is. I swear to fucking God, Haskins, if I look up on the internet and this isn't a real thing, I'm gonna kneecap you. Controlling the country, bro. I'm going to kneecap you if this is a fucking made-up thing. 
The big one's the you one. You heard it here first. Okay, so the the little one with like spotted <laughs> bivvy. Which he prefers left, to right, first. <laughs> the little one with spotted bivvy like just rolls around like in a chair and like sings country music, and the big one like it just like dances <laughs> and stuff like <laughs> like it just like rolls it around, you know, like <laughs> country on your country. No. <laughs> I want to open for those so so bad, dude. <sighs> <laughs> it's real! <laughs> Lori and George Chappelle. Uh, dude, yeah, they're testing. Holy shit, your reaction's better. <laughs> well, I swear to God, I wanted to see Cats on real. Dude, I honestly thought you were just making it. Yeah, right! Off the top I was like, well, it's like, it was like, this is too oh specific for it to be like, he's not that creative. Well, one of the. No, one he's very creative. Like, yeah, he the, no the, the little one sings. His primary song is I wish my mom would smoke pot with me, and it repeats it like 46 the, times. The, 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 the little one sings. That. And like, the, the big one, like, it learned how to dance. <laughs> so, I gotta say, I'm gonna look up the music. It is real. <laughs> Good show in the country, everybody. <laughs> That'd be like the band I'd want to uh, Alright, uh, what popular song do you fucking hate? Mm. God, by how much five. time do you have? Just give me one. Boil yeah. it down. Boil all the little popular. shit off. <laughs> uh, you know what? The most popular song that's that I can think of that I absolutely hate? Dude, right around fucking late November. You fucking... Rolling around the grocery store, like fucking trying to get your shit. Goddamn, Paul McCartney comes on with that simply having a wonderful <laughs> Christmas. But that's the fucking only words of that shit. It's not stop. At you're least like, he can sing. Like trying to escape Paul, Paul McCartney. Those guys can't sing. But you, we're, we're scratching the surface. I think I, exactly I know. Go ahead. I'm gonna Santeria. Okay. Really? Fucking. I don't like it when like coffee like shop chicks sing that shit. Fucking really? stand it. I can't stand Sublime. Actually, that's not true. I can't stand people who like Sublime. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing with the band Tool. <laughs> no, I also can't stand Tool. Uh, tool Tool's <laughs> what happens when you give metalheads way too much mushrooms and then tell them they're talented. <laughs> that's what happens. You ever have pretentious people? Like, that's so like, good! Tool fans are so fucking so good. Like, so like, but I still like Tool. I, I don't have any interest in listening to Tool. So, so Tool fans are like so goddamn pretentious. You'll be like, hey dude, did you ever listen to like, uh, did you ever listen to Molly Crew? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I listen to Tool. And it's just like, that's their whole fucking shit. Yeah. They just don't even like. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're so high, they don't remember they got a fucking snare drum. They smell their own Like, dude, thing. you have more than toms, asshole. <laughs> you have more than toms. It's well so talking that the tool fans smell their own farts. I'm just saying. It's well talking. The question is, I mean, I'm in enemy territory. I'm sorry. What about you, Randy? You got any tones that you can fucking hate? Fuck, man. No, not, nothing off the top of my head. Honestly, I don't. I I, I can see blind everything. Tanya? Man, I just... The no, only I thing... don't think he hates Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they're getting married. Just oh, give it time. Oh, oh, I would oh, hope he doesn't hate you're asking her. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, it's right. No, I don't really have any music that I hate. I just cannot stand the singer from Maroon 5. He sings like he's singing through his fucking nose all the time. Way up here. Dudes, anything that created everything. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they're so dude, bro. We gotta get it right. there on a Sunday <laughs> morning. <laughs> right. bro. Bro, we were on that right. five finger death punch. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you go. All right, so what is the worst gig you have ever played? Doesn't have to be for this band. Huh. Oh, that's... Hmm. I mean, I did <laughs> All of y'all are making the same I did music with theater. A lot of really Does that count? Bad. Yes. <laughs> so, uh... Bad ones. Um... I, was yeah. pl- I played a cancer benefit one time, and I didn't know that it was a cancer benefit, and I should have, like, smoking, like, on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Is that real? That's, are you fucking with me? Did, yeah, that, that sounds was, real. That was real. <laughs> Like, this is another conjoined twins moment. So, and I'd also been drinking a little bit, and so somebody came up and talked to me about it. They're like, hey, 
you can't, you're like shooting me, you're like smoking. I was just like, I thought they were fucking kidding, so I was like incredibly dismissive of them. <laughs> you know, I was just like, yeah, whatever, dude. You know? But yeah, in retrospect, and also like, <laughs> it, it changed the whole vibe, like of like what was going on around me. It wasn't even going to be like a rocker, like when it, it was an acoustic show, but it was like, yeah. Not, not, not one of my prouder moments. I, okay, uh, in that vein, I can't say this was my worst gig ever because I got paid. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. That's helpful. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's so many times it's like, well, this sucks. You know, we didn't get paid. Yeah, at least I got paid, so it wasn't my worst gig ever. But the most awkward interaction I've ever had on stage was, uh,. So I was playing at this really hoity-toity uh, wine winery. Did you play the oh. fucking Catalina wine mixer? This was fucking this Catalina wine mixer. This is in Virginia. Oh. This is in Virginia. So it's up in the mountains in Virginia. And they got a lot of, like, like they Catalina grow wine grapes mixer. up there and shit. So they got, like, a bunch of, like, famous wineries and shit. So I'm up there playing for some waspy-ass old fucking white people. Damn honkies. I had just reformed my band, and I was playing a lot of old rockabilly standards, but I was also trying to, like, fill the time with some of my own original material, a lot of which is <coughs> psychabilly material, which, if you're not listening to the lyrics, sounds like regular rockabilly. But if you're listening to the lyrics, I'm singing about <coughs> zombies and shit. Yeah. So, um, but they're all having lunches and talking to each other, so I'm hoping that I'm just background music and they're not hearing me. Classy. So in the middle of, well, like, I'm coming back off a set break, this lady comes up and said, hey, I want to take over the microphone real quick. She's the or event organizer. I'm like, alright, fine. So I let her take over and she's like, hey, so I just want to let everyone know that, yes, the, the, <coughs> the rumors are true and the owners of this winery are dying. <laughs> <laughs> and they are selling the winery but don't worry the winery will still have the same quality products so don't you worry about that quality don't don't worry people are dying oh, yeah, they're more well, worried almost about like they're talking about next. like the quality of the wine than they are about the fact that the owners are dying and having to sell this entire beautiful tract of land also the fish on is top of the mountain. <laughs> the fuck and is. then they're like, what anyway, back to the band. Take it. And I'm like, all right, well, my next song is the Undead Rock. The next song after that is the Zombie Blues. Skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. <laughs> fuck it, all right, Chuck Berry, let's go. You know, like... That is for You know, like... I'm not, at that point, I'm just like, I don't know, anything borderline pedophilia from Elvis is okay, as long as it's not zombie-related. <laughs> because these people do not want to hear about death right now. They're all old white people, and they just had their mortality made very real to them. Yeah. You know? Old white people. Yeah, oh my god. It was, it was a fucking nightmare, dude. So what would you say is one of the most influential musicians that you admire? Did we not do that? Weird Al. Uh, okay, I, I, I suppose that would fall into influences. I, I, normally, my question is influences for the band and like personal like reference. But you're right; if they all fall in the same, if anybody has, I'm them. sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, you're Tanya, right. Yeah. It's true. Tanya, you're. Are you the main songwriter here? I think I Richard and I are half and half. half. So this is just me. Yeah, you and Richard. Question. I mean, like my my main influence. I feel like I've already done that. I I feel like as far as songwriting goes, I. I, d I don't know. Is there any other influences that we might want to throw out? The Rock and Roll Cannibals. I have s like I feel like all of adventure. music I is my influences. That's like the worst question. I don't know how to narrow it down. That's fair. Frankie right. Valley. I love him with all my heart, but none of my music sounds like him. Uh, I, I get that. <laughs> All right, where is everybody? No, Rock and Roll Cannibals. Can, 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 can I try a question? You remember the Ninja song? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I try a question? If you could make your music sound like anyone else's, who would you choose to make it sound like? Whoa, that's a good question. If I, I could make my music sound like anyone else's, 
Who would I make? Pat Benatar. Okay. Yeah, for real. She's incredible. You? And yeah, it's no. like yeah. fucking rocking. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. But that's not... I don't know. No, because that's not the style I go for when I hear us play. So I don't know. It's a, it's a hard question. You make me come up with something and then I have to say something. And then the whole world thinks that's that's the right answer. And it's not the right answer. I think we're about to make a vocal explode. <laughs> All right, so what is song three? Uh, cut, cut laser. laser. <laughs> cut <laughs> laser. Pew, pew, pew. pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew got out of the poo poo. <laughs> no. Pew. Come well, that's not where the poo poo comes from. No, that is not. <laughs> I said not out of the poo. We all misheard you. <laughs> no, unless there is a serious <laughs> medical <laughs> malady. <laughs> Get that checked out. Do you want Uncle Claims he once farted a hole in a bed sheet? <laughs> <laughs> My God. I can tell you he means it because he gets all serious like he's telling like a Vietnam story like we like, I don't know the day. He's had fucking thousand yards too. <laughs> thousand yards too. All right. So we we <laughs> are still with Tommy and the Hardings. <laughs> <laughs> still? Still? Oh, still? That's such a good segue for the farting a hole in the bed sheet to like, well, we're Tommy and the Hardings. Like, that's genius, bro. He still has the pants on the wall. The hole in it still. <laughs> And you are about to hear Cut Laser. We'll be right back. <laughs> Woo! All right. So now... Song three was Cut Lasers. Cut lasers. Cut lasers. The lasers of the counts with a Z apparently. <laughs> or yes. Did we ever decide? It makes I, it I think it's controversial at this it point. It just looks cooler with a Z. We realize yeah. it's not proper for the uh, <laughs> for for the a- acronym. acronym. But uh, it it Light just looks cooler, so we're gonna do it anyway. Sure. I think that's the sure. through zebras. I'm not picky. Whatever. I mean, I that's that's where we left it last night. I mean, I don't know. It's your it. song, dude. We 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 spell it how you want to spell it. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the one song I wrote for the band. So, and it's a really it's a lot of fun to perform. Love it. It is. So, uh, what other projects are y'all involved in? Well, we have a porn up channel. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> it mostly involves you know, it's called only flans it is <laughs> literally custard based if I don't know flans. about it and I'm not getting paid then that's not okay I need to get paid if I'm involved Other, okay. all, only flans <laughs> only flans all right. yeah. yeah only flans the custard based profiles <laughs> Dude, I, I try to create this app called loafer <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and it would like connect. Haskins, Haskins, stop. <laughs> it would connect people like uh, together by like different. Types I don't of music. really want to connect <laughs> different types things of music I was involved like, with to this, do I? <laughs> they're different types of music. Yeah, they're like because you can be like, "Where's the hot spot to eat?" No, and, uh, no. And then you meet people on Lover, and then you go eat meatloaf together. You know? Oh, that is not where I was thinking that was going. <laughs> oh my god. Where did you think it was going? Look, I think you know. I think we all know. Love for, dude. Get yeah, love for out of here. Look. <laughs> Me love is a hard thing to find good. All right. You have to make it yourself. So, uh, but really, so what are all projects are y'all involved in personally? It, uh, I know we have Wee Beasties here also. Yeah. So I mean, rock, uh, and roll, rock and Roll Cannibals. Mother Falcon. Mother Falcon. But that will be on in a couple weeks. Uh, Any other projects that we're not referencing? Uh, I currently have. <laughs> My business is Coyote Music Studio. I teach babies. <laughs> I'm currently the touring bass player for Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought you should die in place, right? <laughs> That was cold as hell, man. Damn. You just seems like that. Wow. Seamless. Seamless. <laughs> like, you didn't even miss a beat. That was... <laughs> he was in that. He was oh ready for that. Oh, my God, trip. dude. Like, that. And I... Oh, like, like... Great man once said. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, where can we find Tanya and the Hardys? On our Pornhub account. Uh, no, we. we <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, all it is is Richard no, crying in a, in a bag. <laughs> it's just me crying in the cellar. If we had, <laughs> if we had an actual Pornhub account, I would be really afraid this, this of what might these guys be, like the least with. productive. <laughs> It's literally Man, just inner, passing the same back to me. Yeah, that's the thing. And I've been, I, I've been interviewed on acid. Two hands. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm <laughs> crying for some reason. You're like, oh, <laughs> love <of> garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the camera guy is throwing garlic bread at him. He's <laughs> like, eat it, eat it. It's the worst. It's I love your loaf. <laughs> now. All right, so where can we actually find y'all? Spotify, Facebook, that kind of shit. We're going to be on Spotify in the next month and a half or so. I mean, if we get shit done, yeah. Uh, we, we, which we're doing. Yeah. Uh, there, we are on Facebook. We also have a fucking uh, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, we got a LinkedIn in case we need to get a job. We do? Uh, I'm just kidding. This is true, true. I don't even have a LinkedIn for my <laughs> professional business. <laughs> All right, uh, so find us on Grinder. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a picture of Haskins. <laughs> and, 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 and the next picture is this. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, what about any other people that y'all would like to promote before we get out of here? Rock and roll cannibals. <laughs> They're about to move to Las Vegas, and he's going to be incredible up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to move to Las Vegas and restart the Rock and Roll Cannibals there. So uh, Vegas is a good spot. I, I really appreciate these guys uh, supporting me so much and doing that. Well, motherfucker, uh, we love you, dude. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> we, wouldn't, we wouldn't sound the same at all without you, dude. It's true. Well, you know, you, you guys have uh, another guy that I, I believe is going to be coming in and yeah. and, and doing some work for you, and you I know, have every he, confidence when in When this guy came in, the first rehearsal... You know, I think I think you guys are going to be great. He said, he said, oh, I thought I was just coming in to fuck around and drink beers with Haskins. And then he good. realized that we were serious. <laughs> yeah, it's the best thing that happened. Yeah. That's so one of the perks is fucking around drinking beers with Haskins. <laughs> <laughs> it accidentally turned into an actual Perk band. Perk curse. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it was one of those things where, like, I, I, I just wanted a hobby and it turned into a job. <laughs> Fair. You enough. know? All right, so uh, anybody, any other bands that you think that uh, viewers should check out? Other than Rock and Roll Cannibals. To join country, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Check out. You know, uh, you and I, you and I should start an outlaw country thing. Sometime. I think you and they I should check out. Oh, yeah, giant sure. dog. Well, well, we were I gotta say, giant dog. A giant dog. 
we were jamming earlier when we were doing that country thing. Just yeah. Do the, I was like, God damn, this sounds like a fucking bad. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it sounded legit, dude. Now just do a cover of The Fear of Being Alone by Queen <laughs> <laughs> What if you get a fiddle player and uh, two people that were attached to the It theater. really does sound like a Faith Hill song. I mean, dude, were we just using some Gorilla Glue? <laughs> I, I have a sewing kit. <laughs> No. <laughs> so, so I'm kitten solder gun. Let's do this, dude. You know, imagine like, imagine like, there's like usually every day, you have to with your head attached to somebody else go walk into a fucking room and then they have to take a dump in the fucking toilet. <laughs> I mean, you know I would feel I mean? like at that point you would want to synchronize and just have dual toilets. At at their age, they're clearly used to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They figured something yeah. out. All right, so this is maybe they had like a podcast with Joint Country. Woo! I spelled C U N T R Y. What? Country. Cut. Oh yeah. Yeah. Country. Where I like take the shirt and I put the cunt back in country. <laughs> All right. You ever heard that song? Uh, I have no song. You remember that Keith that yeah, song? Really I put the cunt back in country. Does he really? Is that a real yeah, song? Yeah, yeah. It's Hank the Third. Put the oak back in country. It's uh. No, it's Hank Williams the Third. I no, swear to God, not. it's not. It's uh, Shooter Jennings. Oh, okay. <laughs> put the sure? oak back in country. Yeah. You sure. Yes. Look it up. Whoa. I don't know. You I like your version. A dollar. The cunt back in country. I mean, they're both the same. Same thing. I'll, I'll bet you one Yankee <laughs> dollar, sir. I believe him. I still like your version. <laughs> what about yeah. Brad McKnight? Right. Who? Who? Alright, so what is the song for? Right, right. So, what is song for? I believe I can touch the sky. That's, that's, R. Kelly. that's not. You're singing the wrong guy. Yeah, that's R. Kelly. That's totally he's not. Him. He's in jail. Know. That's not cool, dude. Or like some, that's not cool. Sex cult. Who's that? Yeah. R. Kelly got arrested. You know when they <laughs> came out in the nineties and did the whole expose on him? Everyone thought that. You know when they came out in the nineties and did the whole expose on him? Everyone thought that. That's who thought that. But everyone swept it under the rug. <laughs> totally. That moist. Moist. Rubber. No, everyone came out and, and talked shit about him in the nineties and and said all that shit. Probably all this so stuff coming out and pretending like they didn't berries. know, pretending like they didn't know about him. That's bullshit. Yeah, you're next week, everyone knew. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> all right. So what is our last song? <laughs> softer, <laughs> softer, softer. It's about uh, it's about R. Kelly. <laughs> See, <I> was, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what they're screaming at him. <laughs> oh, oh god damn it. That's worse than what I fucking said, bro. That's uh, <laughs> Yeah. Softer softer is my song. Alright. All right. So this has been Tommy and the Hardings. Oh, uh, you're about to hear softer softer. Thank you for watching our new party podcast. We are out of here. I believe I can fly. From here, thoughts and emotions play Lost in the quicksand of our bed I search for you when you're capable As the view from your private sea Cleverness My heart's not